Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be working in Photoshop and in Maya and I'm going to show you guys how you can create uh, alpha maps in a very easy way. So you can create something like leaves for trees and whatnot in Maya, right? Here we go. This video has been made possible by Luxion, the creators of Keyshot. Okay guys, well we're in Photoshop as you can see and I loaded up a simple image of a leaf. Now the reason for doing that is because I want to show you guys how you can take an image like this, take it into Maya, uh, get rid of that white background and have it look like an actual leaf on a tree. Now for that we need two things. We need a PNG image, which is basically this leaf without the white background. And we need an alpha image uh, to create the uh, transparency or opacity in Maya, right? Now, uh, there are many ways to do this. I've seen uh, very complicated ways to do this, uh, but in general, a, an alpha image is a black and white image, so we're gonna do it in a very simple way, right? Now, let's get started with this layer right here. It's locked right now, so I'm just gonna go in here and I'm gonna double click on that and click okay, there you go. Then we're gonna take the quick selection tool and we're gonna go in here, uh, where do you go? We're gonna go in here and we're gonna start to select everything that's white, like so. And of course, you're gonna take your time and do it proper and get rid of these little shadow lines and all that kind of stuff. But for the purpose of the video, we're gonna do it like this, right? I'm gonna queue on my keyboard to make sure I got everything. As you can see, I do not. I need to select this little uh, stem here. So I'm gonna hold down Alt and drag that in. And I'm going to hit Q again to check my selection. And like I said, we're just going to say that it's okay, right? I maybe it's maybe going to get rid of a little bit of these shadows here, but that's not what this video is about. So we'll leave it at that, right? Okay. So now that we have this, what we're going to do is we're going to erase the white background. So I'm going to take an eraser and I'm simply just going to brush that out. Now, of course, you got shortcuts and all that kind of stuff, but again, easy peasy. All right, there you go. So that's gone. So what we're gonna do now is go up to uh, select and deselect to get rid of the running ants. And I'm gonna go up here to file, save as, and I'm gonna save this on my desktop as a, a simple PNG image. Make sure it's PNG and pear leaf PNG. And there you go. And I've been doing some testing, so I'm gonna overwrite it, but in your case, you shouldn't have that. All right, so now that we have that, fine. Uh, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go uh, uh, back. So we're gonna hit Control Z to go back. And I just wanna make sure that I got my whole background and everything. And I'm going to turn this into a black and white image, which is fairly simple because I already got the selection going on here. So I'm gonna go up to Image, Adjustments, Levels. And we're gonna push this slider right here and let's make sure we got the right one selected, the background. So by pushing it all the way to the left, we now have a black background. We're gonna click OK. Let's go to select an inverse. So we now have the leaf selected. We're gonna go to image adjustments again, levels once again. This time we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna push it all the way to the right so it becomes completely white. Click OK. Now, uh, we don't need that selection anymore, so we're gonna go to select and deselect, and then we're gonna go to file, we're gonna go to save as, and let's uh, save this as a, a JPEG image. And I already did this as a test, like I said, so I'm gonna overwrite that, but in your case, you shouldn't have that. And there we go. So now that we have these two files, we're gonna jump into Maya. Okay guys, while we're in uh, Maya, I'm gonna take a uh, polygon plane and I'm just gonna hit R to scale that out a little bit. We don't need all that subdivision, so I'll hit Control A to open up the attribute editor. Let's go in here, set subdivision levels to one by one, which is fine. And then I'm gonna close that out. I'm gonna right click and go to assign new material. Let's do an Arnold material and use a standard surface shader. And what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go into our base. So up here, our base color, hit a checkered box, go to file, hit this folder, 
and we're going to go and select our JPEG, which is uh, this guy, and bring it in. And there you have it. There's our leaf. Now, like I said before, we don't want that white part, so we need to sort that out, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to Render, Viewport 2.0. And we're going to go in here and we're going to make sure that this is set to alpha cut transparency algorithm. Mine is, but yours by default is probably not. So alpha cut, right? Select that and close that. All right. Then the second thing we need to do is we need to select our uh, object and go into polyplane shape one, right? And here it says opaque under Arnold. We're going to turn that off, right? That's going to help. So now that that is turned off, we've got a couple of more things that we need to do. Uh, but one of them is, of course, to load up our alpha. So we're going to select this guy. We're going to go up to uh, our shader. And we already plugged in the JPEG into the base color. So now we're going to go under, uh, let's see, geometry. And we're going to click on thin walls. And next to the opacity color white, we're going to hit that checkered box. We're going to select file. Then we're going to go and hit that folder. We're going to go in and we're going to select our alpha and open that up. Now, as soon as we do that, you'll see that our leaf now looks like an actual leaf instead of a photo of a leaf on a white square. And with that in, uh, in mind, we're going to put in a little light. Let's do, uh, I don't know, let's do an area light. We're going to scale that up. Not that that has a lot of effect on the light, but just so we can see it. We're going to hit W, move it up. Let's hit a T on our keyboard so we can kind of aim it, right? So there you go. Looks about right. Okay. And we're going to hit 7 on our keyboard so you can see that the light is actually projected on the leaf, okay? Now, um, I know for a fact that this is not going to be enough light in Arnold to illuminate properly. So I'm going to take the intensity and I'm going to move that way up, right? Now, it doesn't look good here, but in Arnold, it will be okay. And let's see if we get what we want right now. So we're gonna go into Arnold and we're gonna do a simple render. Well, there you have it, guys. So that is basically all there's to it, right? Now, there's not a lot of background going on here, so the intensity of the light is quite high, but that's not really the point. The point is, this is how you create something like that, right? So hopefully it was helpful for you guys. If it was, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell thing so you'll get notified when there's new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.